this movie was in 3D. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Magic Mike. That too, the law says that you cannot touch. But I think I see a lot of lawbreakers up in this house. So if you could do the one thing that made you the happiest every morning. The custom furniture. Custom yeah. furniture? So you must really go with your hands. I just can't be around your lifestyle. Am I Magic Mike right now talking to you? I'm not my lifestyle. Do you believe what you're saying right now? Uh, yeah, Showgirls was total trash, but this movie is directed by Steven Soderbergh, so that makes it okay. Hee <laughs> hee, does it? While the first trailers for Magic Mike made it seem like harmless fun, the recent Red Band trailer revealed that the film is buttastic. Really, that's a lot of butts. And while women have had to sit through films with topless actresses since, well, the beginning of film, it's generally just for a scene or two. Pretty much no mainstream film except Showgirls has shown this much skin. Even Boogie Nights, a film about the porn industry in the 1970s, was tame in comparison to Magic Mike. That begs the question, is Channing Tatum going too far or a brilliant businessman? After all, in a world post-sex in the city movies and bridesmaids, women are becoming less and less shy about admitting men aren't the only ones who like eye candy. Take Abercrombie & Fitch, a major brand that is famous for having topless male models adorn their store entrances. In fact, Abercrombie & Fitch seems to have been inspired by Magic Mike, launching their own YouTube page earlier this month with a single video, topless male models from around the world lip-syncing to the pop hit Call Me Maybe. And with over 3 million views, it looks like once the tiny whiteies are off, there's no putting them back on. Indeed, Tom Cruise bared his backside in Rock of Ages, and male nudity is becoming more prolific on the big screen, small screen, any screen. But even still, one has to wonder how Channing Tatum was able to talk actors like Matthew McConaughey, Alex Petta for Matt Bomer and Joe Maniello, not just into taking their clothes off, but actually putting on a strip show. Yes, for the film, auteur Steven Soderbergh filmed the performances documentary style and had the actors fully perform their routines for some very lucky female extras. And perhaps a ton of overjoyed screaming women was what gave these guys the extra courage to ride around on stage in a thong. Channing Tatum was surely an inspiration as well, as he's fully embraced his stripper past. No shame for this guy, which is paying off as this year Tatum became a legitimate Hollywood star with a 41 million debut for The Vow, a successful comedy debut with 21 Jump Street, and the honor of having G.I. Joe Retaliation push back an entire year just so he could be a bigger part of it. Will Magic Mike push Tatum into superstardom or be a major stumble? Let's go find out. By the way, if you want to watch that Abercrombie and Fitch video, the link's in the description. How much nudity are we talking about here? A fair amount. A fair amount I mean, yeah? It wasn't more, I, I don't know. I don't think it was more than expected. You see a lot of asses. <laughs> I'll say that. You see a lot of asses. Yeah? Yes, a decent no. amount. Enough? Enough? A decent amount. That's good, that's it, good. It will definitely uh, get your blood going. Oh, good. Were you so distracted you couldn't pay attention to the story? A little bit. <laughs> Love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was the story of what you saw? It was actually really good. Yeah, yeah. It, was good. yeah. it was a little more dramatic than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah? But it was great. I thought it was really good. What made you go and see this movie today? Um, we, the nudity. The nudity? <laughs> Basically, that, that was what drove me. You get I was you... surprised. I didn't realize it was Soderbergh, and he had some really good commentary on our society. Oh, yeah? So oh, that's good. It was good. Can a straight guy go and see this movie? Yes and no. You can get a lot of good tips, I can tell you that much. <laughs> That's great. Um, you know, us ladies, we will appreciate it. <laughs> Does this movie live up to your expectations then if they didn't show a lot of stuff? Yeah, I think so because all we really want to see is Channing Tatum and like the guys just do their thing. You don't want it to be too awkward with nudity, so it was good yeah. in that sense as well. So uh, much respect for Channing Tatum. Yes, yes. ditto, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, After you, 21 Jump Street. He, yes, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what? I. Sometimes I was like, is he a good actor? And like, t in this movie, he showed that he is. Oh, really? Channing Tatum. Good idea? Good career move yes. or mistake? Good idea. Very yeah. good. Capitalize yeah. on his past. Oh, Part yeah. He was the best on the stage. Was really? Yeah, How did the other guys good. do? Did anybody else stand out? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Matthew McConaughey was okay. What do you think of this growing trend? Of uh, male nudity in movies. I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Right? I, I'm excited. I mean, us women, we always... Right? We have to put up with it every we're, movie. We're out there and it's like, oh, okay, sure, but now with the guys, finally they're Fair stepping game. up. I like it. What was I, the mood like in the theater? People were excited. Lots of laughing. A lot of very verbal. After seeing this movie, would you be willing to go to a strip show for real? Like a live strip no. show? No? no? For me, it's the movie was enough. I'll go on stage. Uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. I have. Um, we you have? Yes. 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 It's pretty much the same thing. It is. Like, really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Like, yeah. Oh, Where do you have a better time? 
I had a better time there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you giving on a one to ten? I would give it an eight. Solid eight. An eight? Yeah, an eight. An eight? Eight. An eight? I was going to say an eight too. Oh, interesting. A ten. Ten? Yeah, I'd go nine and a half. And what do you say to anyone who's on the fence who goes, I don't know if I should? If they're a girl, it's worth your money. Yeah. If you're a guy and your girlfriend wants to go, just go anyways because you'll have fun. So while it's not a masterpiece, Magic Mike is clearly fun to see with your friends as overall audiences give the film an 8.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Sampire 25 and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies. Okay.